Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Tsipi Horowitz Krauss, and I'm an associate professor at Kennedy Krieger Institute. What I do here is I research reading and why reading is so important for children and child brain development. Today, I will share some insights with you and some examples about some ways of how to read to your child dialogically, interactively, and I will use this book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which is a book that all of us really, really like. And this book is by Eric Carl. And we will start and I will give some examples. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Take a look at this tiny little white egg on this big, big, big leaf. And look at this huge, huge moon over here in the middle. What Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Take a look at this caterpillar and see how tiny it is. And see this big, big sun over here and he's approaching the sun. Oh, right, so he woke up and he's really, really hungry. So what is he doing? Let's see. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Do you like apples? No, me too. But he was still very hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One and two. But he was still hungry. See what he did? On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Can you count this together with me? There's one, there is another one, and here's a, the third one. And they are colored in this purplish, bluish color. But you know what? He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Look at this really red, nice strawberries. But he was still hungry. Do you like strawberries? What's your favorite fruit? We can talk about this. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. What do you think the caterpillar is doing? To, is going to do? What do you think will happen next? You can talk about it, maybe. Other people would just take a nap for a little while. Let's see what he's doing. Oh my God, look at that. Look at this big, huge list. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. Oh my God, did it happen to you before that you ate too much, that your tummy ate? Do you want to talk about this a little bit? Oh, it happened to me once, and this is not a fun, fun experience. Let's see what happened to this little caterpillar. So it was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much, much better. And we can count the number of holes that this caterpillar made in the leaf. One, two, three, four, five. And look at this beautiful, beautiful, what's the color of the leaf? It is green, right? Do you know or remember which, which season has green leaves, right? Summer, maybe spring. Let's see what happens next. Oh, wow. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. 
he built a small house called Cocoon around himself. Look at that. It's almost at the size of his size. See? He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out on. What do you think will happen next? You can guess. Let's see if you guessed right. Wow, he was a beautiful butterfly. And now let's talk about several principles that we went through during this read aloud book. So we showed the direction of writing to the child. We made sure that the child is aware that the writing is done left to right. And I pointed with my finger at it. I pointed at some of the images and I asked questions. Sometimes I can only, I can also play some sounds, some games with sounds and uh, I can pronounce the letter that the word starts with. And I asked lots of questions and I made the child bring up some of his or her own ideas and knowledge about what's written in the book. I hope you enjoyed and that you will read as well to your child. Take care.